Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to show you how to make cauliflower rice uh, chicken biryani. Isn't that great? I, always, I crave to eat chicken biryani so much that I was like, why can't I make it with cauliflower rice? It's too difficult because it's not rice. And But then I thought, hey, let me try. And um, looks like I came up with a very, very brilliant recipe for this. And so let's start making. Um, actually what happened is I wanted to first try it um, and then uh, cre do a video but then I knew that I'm going to uh, really rock this so I was like okay um, I mixed everything and prepped some of the stuff that I needed for um, making and then I thought why don't I shoot a video I don't think I need a trial for this I'm good at it when I make the original so I should be good making with cauliflower rice as well okay so let's start you have a whole lot of ingredients uh, but a lot of spices in this so let's start with how to um, with the spices okay i'm going to show you all the spices now um here it is what i have uh, these are like about four small bay leaves um here i'm gonna put them aside and this one here is a uh, nutmeg and this is how the nutmeg looks. What I did is I took whole spices. So one half of it, I gently um, beat it in a mortar and piston and I used that. You can just break it into three, four pieces, that's all. Um, I took one big star anise, uh, actually one and a little leaf, a uh, couple little, couple leaves of this. So this is how it looks. I had them uh, whole, so use the star anise. And then um, eight cloves so here you have eight cloves here and this is mace where is my mace so I took whole mace whole mace and this is how a whole mace looks so one whole mace I have broken here actually it's one and a half I've broken one and a half whole mace about 12 peppercorns or I measured them for you guys it's quarter teaspoon of peppercorns and uh, one teaspoon of whole coriander so if you see here it's whole coriander so see the spices so these are the spices which i'm going to fry first little bits uh, uh, and then fry the chicken in and i'm going to put them as whole so that's my spices there and um but um, since I already mixed, if you don't have whole spices, you could also buy garam masala and then you could use like a one baked tablespoon of this um, in your chicken, in your marinade. Um, so we are not, since I'm using whole, it gives a good flavor, aromatic, and that's what makes biryani biryani. It's not these ready-made stuff, but re use of real whole spices. So I have here quart, half a cup of... Um, uh, coconut milk with some saffron I use so this is a saffron I used fire red saffron it is really red and very aromatic and you see it's how red it is so very aromatic and gives good flavor also so that's my saffron I use a few strands of it like a pinch and about seven eight strands or maybe ten strands in this coconut milk um, coconut milk here's like I'm using a whole butter stick I'm gonna make a lot so whole butter stick so this is like two tables six tablespoons of butter which I have um, actually melted it but now again it's a little bit hardened so um, I'll before I layer it in the tray I'll melt it so two tablespoons of salted butter to uh, fry these ingredients and um, uh, and chicken i'm also going to put two tablespoons of oil here now butter is good for keto so i'm using more of that instead of uh, oil but two tablespoons of oil on a lot of in a lot of food w um, would be not so bad okay so this is my chicken already marinated here i'm sorry i did this earlier um, i didn't do this with you but i'm going to go over the steps with you so these are about um, 10 chicken thighs uh, just the upper thigh part and i've cut into half so that makes about 20 pieces and it's good for a um, lot of cauliflower 
uh, biryani actually when you're making something exotic like this you want to make uh, at least quite a bit so that you can prep it uh, for your week's lunch box or you can use it like a family party all right so i've marinated this with four tablespoons of yogurt um, sweet yogurt plain greek uh, phage yogurt i've used that and then i have used one whole big lemon uh, squeezed in it and uh, one whole uh, heaped tablespoon of ginger garlic paste mixed with little chili so that I usually keep I don't have uh, in front of me right now but I usually use this in my uh, savory type of dishes uh, you can take any amount of uh, ginger like two three inches and then um, about seven eight cloves of garlic along with one chili and then uh, chop it in a chopper or grind it and then just use like a heap full of tablespoon of that okay that's another way of uh, doing it fresh and again keep in mind if you have fresh ingredients instead of store brought a store bought it tastes really well so that I'm going over the spices in here now those, so the spices I use for this marination are um, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and uh, one teaspoon of red chili powder paprika powder then uh, this is half a teaspoon of um, actually one teaspoon of coriander powder and cumin where's cumin so i used half a teaspoon of cumin powder and one whole teaspoon of raw cumin uh, which is cumin seeds okay one whole teaspoon of cumin seeds on this and then uh, half a teaspoon of powder on the side so these are my ingredients in it and i mix them very well oh and yeah i forgot to say uh, salt salt according to taste i would take about two Tape, uh, teaspoons of salt in this and marinate remember we have um, cauliflower in the main ingredient so I have like two heads of cauliflower two big heads of cauliflower chopped this is not that I have more on the side there so I just uh, have some of them that I want to show you so I've hand chopped it um, I have a hand chopper I used it for even uh, size of the even chopped uh, cauliflower rice actually it's a little thicker if you see um, it's not too small finely chopped because I wanted to keep the texture and it's evenly chopped okay I also I'm going to use fried onions I know fried onions is not really good for um, for keto but I'm not going to use a lot just about two to three tablespoons of this and, and it's going to make a lot so it wouldn't be uh, I think that would be enough for um, your daily carb intake okay within your daily carb intake um, I don't have fresh mint so I have always these dried mint stored with me so I'm going to use about um, two tablespoons of dried mint and I'm going to use um, three tablespoons of chopped coriander which I freeze uh, which I have frozen in the refrigerator so I'm not gonna pull it out now when we do the layering when it's required I'm going to show you how I'll add uh, coriander also so you see already I have told you a ton of spices I'm going to write all these ingredients herbs and spices um, in my description so you can refer it and I hope this turns out good okay let's go to the cooking stove okay So I'm gonna fry them a little bit in the oil and butter mix for about like say 30 seconds after the oil is heated. Now this is good. Drop the chicken, okay? Now gently cover cook it 
for in a little less than medium flame for about 10 to 15 minutes initially let it be on a high medium high flame okay okay so I guess this has been sitting for 10 minutes I want to reduce this so I'm going to increase the flame and then let it reduce uh, for about five minutes okay it's already smelling very good so this is reduced now if you see you can see the oil uh, coming out this is almost done this much liquid should be there turn it off um, and I did in high flame so that I can um, reduce it took me about 7 to 10 minutes on open high flame to really get this reduced now this is ready I don't want to do any more of uh, mixing so I don't want to heat on so I'm going to bring it out and mix uh, a few ingredients okay so here's adding four tablespoons of fried onion one two three four this is store bought this and then you want to mix the mint whether it's raw or, uh, whole or dry do it after you cook the chicken okay you want the mint taste fresh so this is two tablespoons of mint and I have about two tablespoons of coriander chopped in it frozen so I'm gonna use all of this um, and then bring it out from the stove mix it well and we'll do the next step of frying the or roasting dry roasting the cauliflower okay okay so my pan is really hot and I need to dry roast the cauliflower um, chopped cauliflower okay so you see how granular it is it's a little bit thicker but it's evenly chopped so on really high flame dry roast it for about um, 7 to 10 minutes you should see a little bit brown you can add just about a sprinkle of salt in it and so that the other stuff has enough salt so just a sprinkle if you wish so now I have dry roasted it for about four to five minutes on high flame so it looks a little bit roasted and the moisture in it is gone at the same time it's not like really soggy so that's the idea to get the rawness out now what I'll do is pour it over this and then garnish it um, tightly cover it with aluminium foil like real tight so now let's start with the garnish what I'm going to do is use about a little bit of about one tablespoon of fried onions on top just for garnish and some chopped coriander I had as I said I had them frozen so I'm using some frozen coriander little bit of throw um, dried or leaf whatever you have mint leaves so it gives a nice air It has been tightly sealed from all corners and I think I have put my oven at 275 Fahrenheit and this will go in to sit there for about one and a half to two hours in 275 Fahrenheit. 
Okay, so time to remove this. It's sitting there for two hours already. And it looks so delicious. Let me just touch it here. See? Perfectly done. Okay, time to remove. I actually had it sitting another 15 minutes after um, two hours of 275 for 500 and let any liquids down there drain so that's one way or and the reason you put it for a couple hours or so one and a half hour on 275 is to actually make the meat really 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 soft okay but then if there is any liquid down there test and see like this and then you can blast it in some more uh, about 15 to 20 minutes on 500 so this looks really yummy let me push this back so if you see this this looks really delicious almost almost smells like real biryani and i will actually mix it so this looks beautiful here I have mixed this well, you see, it's been there for a long time. You know what guys, next time I will put it in 400 for an hour, tightly closed and I think it will be very dry and good. So this smells great time for taste fest okay okay taste fest time actually the tada moment tada so let's taste it smells so good all the aroma i'm gonna eat the cauliflower first mm. delicious very delicious it actually tastes exactly like biryani. Um, you can't even tell that it has cauliflower rice in it. It's awesome. Let me taste it with chicken. If you see the chicken is so well done. It's soft. It's melting. Actually, I want to eat the chicken. Hot. Piping hot. I love the tanginess spices. And you know what? I want a little bit of pomegranate, uh, pomegranate powder in it. So let me use my hands. Make it more tangy. Actually, I wanted to use plums in the marinade, but uh, I didn't know if it was keto friendly, so I didn't. But I think this is great. Mmm, totally delicious. Genius, this is genius. Guys, the chicken is made fantastic. And I will suggest put it on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour straight, tightly closed. You open and seal any liquid there, blast it for one, um, 15 minutes and fi on 500 without the lid, without the cover and anything, any liquid that should drain. Fantastic. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy it and uh, you make it yourself too. Thank you. Leave some comments, nice comments and um, subscribe and like to my channel. Okay. Bye-bye.